YouTube shavers. When I get home, I'm going to make my first shaving video. Until then, I hope you enjoy my intro. Hello. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Purely Skinfuls Barbaric. Barbaric. Uh, First of all, this label is outstanding. Look at that hawk right there on top. But all the creatures, very, very nice color, very extremely attractive. It comes in a deep plastic container with the logo on the side also. Here is uh, her personal label. Um, before I get into this very unique soap, uh, I just wanted to... Uh, mentioned Linda, the artesian, uh, Linda James, uh, she, dealing with her was like dealing with no other person I've ever met before. Uh, she was very attentive. She took uh, time to, to deal with me and what I was looking for and all these different things. And she just made you feel, made me feel very comfortable. And uh, She's one of them kind of people that you meet and you just kind of wish that all other artisans and store owners and CEOs and managers were like her. You know what I'm saying? She is that, uh, that fantastic of a person. So easy to deal with. So, before I get into the soap, she also gave me a sample. And, uh, and she wrote a little note on the back. I'm not going to read it to you. <clears throat> but the sample is Route 66. It's a deer tallow soap, so I'm excited about trying that too. I also have the accompanying uh, aftershave that is smartly packaged in plastic, and I do appreciate the effort she put in to put the uh, electro tape around the around the top so it doesn't spill out. Now she is uh, a Canadian artesian. So if you, when you order something from her, it's going to take a little bit longer to get here, but it'll get here once it does. It's going to be, it's just, it's like Christmas time. So um, the ingredients in here, I'm not going to read all the ingredients, but <clears throat> the first ingredient is hydrogenated, hydrogenated uh, soybean oil, black bear tallow. Now she has other soaps and other things that have like a, Let's see, the bear tallow, the deer, and the beef tallow. But she also makes a lot of things like for uh, bath and body, facial care, foot care, hair care. She's like got it all going on. <clears throat> so, um, let's see. So black bear tallow, shea butter, uh, fruits is what it is, I guess, uh, castor seed oil. Uh, she's got the coconut milk, she's got a fragrance, she's got cedar, she got cedar wood in this. Uh, she's got the patchouli also, and even a tussa silk. And she even tells you how to use this soap with your brush. 
and what your shaving brush hot water for several minutes shake excess off her handle and she just goes on from there like we all know so that is great very very detailed very attentive and listen to the ingredients I'll read the first three ingredients to you and the first time that I did I says I gotta have that one richly richly ripened blackberries are intertwined with well-aged southern bourbon cherry tobacco cedar wood again there's your cedar wood patatouille redwood and oak moss on a base of smoked vanilla and amber and musk I mean first time I smell this I do smell the cedar but man just the scent on this is so inviting and look at how much care she put into making this soap she put a st her stamp right on the soap that's like you know <sighs> dragonflies used to be our theme in our bathroom oh man this smells I'm gonna have a good time with this so anyway um what did I leave out uh, oh yeah uh, her soaps and the rest of her products are 100% handcrafted by Linda herself. Um, let's see. She's got other soaps. And listen to the names of some of these soaps and other other uh, products she's got. Timberwood, Enchanted, Sweet Cherry, Sweet Cherry Pie, Mr. Tweed, Siren, Temptation, and High Roller. Just nice. It's pretty exciting, I think, because it's something so so new, and, and she's been around since 2015. I don't even remember how I really heard for, about her. I must have heard from her for another uh, wet shaver, but um, I don't know. I'll have to track it down, I guess. So, tell you what, I'm going to blue my soap, and we'll get the shave on. Alright, freshly honed, freshly strapped. This is my double duck. Double trouble. So this I haven't shaved with this for a while. It's got a cortical finish on it. So um I'm not gonna put any noxema on my face because I want to see what this soap does all by itself. So <clears throat> I mean just uh fill my scuttle. Hope everyone's having a good day today so far. Seems like a lot of people are MIA on YouTube. Maybe they're having a big party somewhere. Alright, so there it is. Ready to go. A little bit of blue water in there. Yeah, it's got a nice deep tub so you're not slopping it all over, you know. I think that's pretty cool. Um, the loading right now is like, uh, I don't want to say strenuous, but it's, um, it's, uh, grabby is what it is. It's so loading great. I'm just telling you what it feels like as compared to other soaps. I got all this work and I haven't got anything on the outside rim. I just blooming for only about five minutes, so. And that's what I got so far. So let's get it on. Uh, this is supposed to be a thirstier soap, so I have a I have a little bit more water in there than I usually put in. So oh boy, you can really smell the you can really smell the berries and, and uh, all the ingredients. She so carefully chose these ingredients. It's just, it's just. Uh, how can she be not considered one of the great ones? You know what I'm saying? Whew, man, I can smell the cedar. I can smell the berries. I can smell the patatouille. I can smell. This is like. Look at my lather so far. I mean. Uh, Excuse me one minute, I gotta lower my mirror down. Alright, let's get it on.
Mm, man, it's just coming up now, huh? You see that? Man, I'll tell you right now, I feel, I feel uh, <clears throat> some of the oils, <clears throat> and whew, man, that's some nice soap. Man, that smells good, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've been waiting four or five days for to do this, guys. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not feeling any stinging. I'm just feeling uh, feeling good, I guess. I don't know what it is. Do I dare add more water? I don't think so. Look at that. Look at the lather. Nice lather. I mean, wow. It's like a lemon meringue pie. This is an exciting day for me because not only do I try this fantastic soap and aftershave, I get to try my new edge. So, just dry my hands off real quick. There it is, the double duck. Double trouble. Yep, that's the edge. This thing cuts so sweet. Oh, I just caught my. Yeah, that's a spike. So I wanted the round tip. Anyway, I guess I could probably um, go to the effort and round that tip, but just a little bit, you know what I mean? So I did catch my style. See that? I've got a little bleeder now. It's like a, a Jesse Ventura said, I don't have time to bleed. <laughs> So nice. Look at that. Very nice, man. Feels like I'm in heaven. I'm in shaver heaven. <laughs> I want to try all of her products though. She's coming out with a line of of uh, pomades too, and she said she has <clears throat> some coming my way. So expect a review on that sometime too. the siren so we call down here
Now, the cushion and slickness are definitely there. <clears throat> I haven't had any problems uh, with, with the razor at all. So, I just opened up that old cut. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I have no stinging in my face, no weird sensations. I felt uh, a little something. I'm not sure what it was, but it was... Um, could have been anything, like if you put menthol on your face or use an insulated soap, you'll feel something. It's kind of like that. Definitely nothing to be concerned about for sure, but um, right now, like I said, I'm, my face is happy. <clears throat> Third pass, look at that. <laughs> Soap just lathers to beat the band. And also, I will um, put put her uh, put uh, <coughs> uh, I'll put Linda's <coughs> excuse me, but Linda's uh, business website in my description. All right, final pass. Notice how my razor just slides right across my chin. That's what you want. Remember I cut myself on that damn uh, gold dollar? It's the edge and the soap combination. That allows me to, to shave like this. Yeah, I tug it right open again. So, uh, and you know, I got a bad habit of doing that anyway. <clears throat> you know, I get a little cut, and you forget about it. The next time you shave, shave right open over it, reopen it. <clears throat> Not cool. So I'm gonna do the suicide bond and I touch it maybe. need a touch up. At all. It's like amazing. That's amazing. It's how good that cortical edge is, see? <clears throat> well, I've been modifying, I've been watching my, uh, I've been watching my shaving angles too, so.
I'll maintain the foam keep sliding around like this. Alright, so let's do the couple of wrenches. I did my spray razor, I just went like this one time and it's all gone, man. So I'm kind of eager to get into the after shave. I haven't even opened it yet. Whew, man, it smells so good in here. Uh, I guess I better do the loom first. Just like I think I better put on the. Uh, I'll be right back, man. All right, let's do a little bit of the uh, witch hazel. I just put some of the stipic pencil on my chin. So, all right. Now the <clears throat> now the piece the resistance, huh? So this has no palm oil in it, neither does the soap, which is good. That's a big concern. Uh, cherry tobacco. That's what I've been smelling. I forgot I read that off. That's what that's that's another strong ingredient, scented ingredient in here. Not really strong, but you can smell it. Yep, cherry tobacco, cedar wood. Uh, okay, I'm excited, I'm excited, shake it up, Whew. it's got a little on the top, Whew. man, don't put this on and go out in the forest, if that's for damn sure, bear smell you, he's going to be chasing after you, thinking you've got a pocket full of cherry tobacco or blackberries or something, who well, comes out, comes out, Milky, see that? Ooh. It's got a uh, nice helping of, of oil in it. So it's got an oil base to it. Uh, yeah, so it's got uh, bark oil, aloe, leaf juice, let's see, I always look for the oils, apricot kernel oil, uh, cedar wood, bark oil, let's see, patatouille oil, so it's got, it's got a good amount of oil in it, so, uh, now for people living in the cold countries, you know, like Canada, this is a welcome site, uh, here in Colorado, it's, you know, we woke up one morning, um, didn't even have a fire burning or nothing. And the the uh, humidity was 20%. So it's pretty dry here. It's, it's always been very dry in Colorado. So this is going to just last me all day. And it smells excellent. Whew, man. If you, don't, if you don't have any of this soap from this lady, you need to check out her website and just explore. Uh, and just understand something. When you order, it's going to be... It's gonna be ordered in Canadian money, but it'll translate into uh, American money. Uh, if you use like, I use PayPal, so that's what it did to me. But she's great to work with, man, I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a fine artesian soap maker, and she's really, um, she's really attentive with everything that is laid out before, and it's just really super nice to meet someone like that. So y'all take care, remember, It's always a good day for a shave and a slick back. Bye.